Welcome to this week's Growing Wisdom, and today we're going to talk about what to do first if you have really no land to deal with. A lot of times here at Growing Wisdom, we talk about putting in trees and shrubs, and you might be thinking, I don't have that kind of space. Well, today we're going to talk about miniatures, which can go in containers, or you could put them in a garden. So, you know, I have an empty container here, just a really nice terracotta container, and then I've got just a bunch of miniatures, and the miniatures are all sorts of different plants. We've got this great uh, camiciferous here. This is a little conifer. That would look great in a garden. We've also got this other camiciferous. This is called saffron spray. We really like that with the variegated color. This teeny tiny little hosta called key heim. Uh, it's a tiny heart-shaped green and it gets its little lavender flowers later on. Believe it or not, this is a malice or a flowering crabapple, and look how great that is. Just nice and small. That would look wonderful in a container garden. We've also got this, if you want a container garden with something that's going to kind of creep, here's a euonymus. And again, this will stay evergreen. It will grow over a pot or a container or make a nice ground cover in a very tiny garden. I'm going to move these aside and show you one of the things that we've actually done here. So we've actually created one of these gardens. It's just a miniature dish garden. And look how wonderful that looks. You've got all these little miniatures. You could keep this out in the patio as long as you had plenty of sunshine for it. And that's where it would be happiest. And this would actually stay outside all winter. I've had one of these in my own yard for about three years. And they look fantastic. Just a little bit of pruning here and there. But you really don't need much space to have one of these. And it at least gives you a little bit of green and gives you your own garden. If you want to see something really spectacular, let's take a look at the fairy garden before we close out this segment. And you'll be amazed at what you can do with miniatures. All right, you might not have room for this, but here's the ultimate display of what you can do with miniatures, the fairy garden. And this is just an amazing spot. We've got evergreens, we've got creeping stuff, we've got flowering plants. It is just an array of colors, textures, and really the ultimate for what you can do with miniatures. Come back often for all our tips here at growingwisdom.com. Each week, we update at least three times. Have a great day.